Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you could strum through a song called Next by The Weeknd. And we end up cabling this on 4th fret to kind of match the recording, but it starts off with this really, really cool piano intro where you could play 3rd fret on the high E, open B, 3rd on the high E, open B, 2nd on the high E, open B, 2nd on the high E, open B, open E, open B, open E, open B, and then back to 2nd fret on the high E, and then open B, 2nd fret on the high E, open B, and then you could kind of keep that going actually. If it, Three oh two oh two oh, and even though it's really faint in the background, you may want to just kind of keep that lick going through the tune. Now the bass notes that would kind of back up that lick would start on on an E note, and if you wanted to, you could almost kind of play the low E string when you start off that lick with a three and open. And I'm kind of doing that hybrid picking, so I'm using my pick for my bass and my fingers to kind of cover the E and the B string. And then from there, you could go to the open D string to back up that next part of the lick, and then back to the open E. Back to the open D, and then back to the open E, and then to the open D, and then we kind of stay on that D note actually for, for the last part of the lick, but if you wanted to, you can kind of keep that going. Now the chords that would kind of back that up would start on an E minor, and we play E minor. First finger goes to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord and it sounds really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to go to a D major chord, and we play D major. First finger goes to the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And through our, our, our intro and our verse chorus, actually, through, through most of the song, we're just doing that E minor, D, E minor, E minor, D minor, D minor, D minor. A lot of times with a song like this though to make it more interesting I like adding something called a strum pattern and one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 light this is down down up up down up so we took the E minor and just tried that a lot you have down down up down up down down up down up down up down so if we apply that to kind of our verse chorus the weird part is a lot of the E minors in D are gonna feel like they're halving and this will work really really slowly but you'd have the E minor with a down down up D down down up E minor down down up D down down up E minor down down up D down down then we get our whole strum pattern down down up up down up kind of one way to play through it now something else I like to add to a song like this is those bass notes and a lot of times on that first down of the down down up up down up or the down down up the way that we're working this you can throw in the, the low E string for the bass on the E minor and then on the D chord you can do the string for your bass. So we'd have E minor the bass, down up D with the D bass, down up E minor the low E bass, down up D with the D bass, down up E minor the low E or D with the D bass, down up, up, down up E minor the low E bass, down up D with the D bass, down up E minor the low E bass, down up D with the D bass, down up E minor the low E bass, down up D with the D bass, down up D with the D bass, down up, up, down up. Another way to kind of work it. Now what it really kind of feels like is something more akin to a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're kind of dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the E minor and do a down for four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four. Down up, down up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down up, down up, down up, down up, down up. So all together, you got down, 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 up, down, 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 down,
one way to kind of work it through the verse chorus is to kind of do the long down, down, down on the E minor D. E minor D. starting on an E minor chord, they're starting on a G sharp minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 4th fret, then now your E minor is really a G sharp minor chord, and your D major is really an F sharp major chord. So we took it from the very beginning, you may want to kind of think about using the, those intro licks, actually kind of that, the, and I'm kind of working that with the hybrid picking, that'd be a really cool way to kind of kick it off. And you can even kind of work the whole tune that way, actually, if you're kind of digging on, on that, that might be kind of a, a cool way to kind of work it. Or you could do the down, down, up, up, down, up, and we have E minor down, down, up, D, down, down, up, E minor down, down, D, down, down, E minor down, down, D, down, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, up. We can add basses to that and have E minor the bass.